Um, you know, I think we just have to go out and play our game. Uh, I think if we each and each and every one of us do our job, you know, field the ball well, pitch well, which you know we've done pretty well all season, you know, really hit as a team. I think uh, I think we're going to be fine for this weekend. How's your pitching kind of set the tone for what you guys do as a team? Because you know, a lot of teams just have one ace and then it drops off, but you guys have two, three guys that can and take the hill and and be dominant on any given day. Yeah, you know, we like you said, we got three guys: Jonah, Luke, and I uh, can go out go go out there and you know. You know, really keep our keep our team in the game. I think it sets a tone when you go out in the first inning, get a quick one, two, three. Uh, you know, kind of you know it shocks the other team a little bit. And, you know, and then we and then our bats come up, and you know we get two or three in the first inning. And I think that's uh, that's the biggest key to us. I think if we can come out, score first, you know, I think I think we got a good chance of winning. Obviously, uh, you got a new head coach this year. Um, what are some of the different philosophies and different approaches that he takes uh, as opposed to Coach Waybright from all the time that Coach Waybright's been here? Yeah, uh, Coach, Coach McLean uh, can be a fiery guy, but he can also be, uh, you know, one of the guys. Uh, he does a great job of separating himself, you know, as being a coach one day, and, you know, part of the guys. Um, I think it's, that really helped us, you know, having a personable, very, you know, Coach Waybright was a great coach. You, know, you can't, can't deny that. He won a ton of games here in 10 years, won two state championships. Um, but, you know, he had other obligations in his life. Uh, coach McLean came in, you know, really had our be best interest. And, you know, like he said earlier with you, you know, he came into a community, a program that, you know, was similar to what he was running at Rebuff. Um, so, you know, it's, uh, it's been a smooth transition. Uh, I think our record, you know, the way we play really shows it. So. Final question, um, just talk about the hunger for this team because I know you've got a great history here at Norwell, but it's been since 2007, as I mentioned, the Jared Parker year, um, that you guys have advanced past the regional. So how hungry is this team to get back to the top? Uh, uh, I, I think it's indescribable how hungry we are. You know, That was the first thing Coach McLean said when he got here. He said it's been, it's been six years since we've won a state championship. Uh, so, you know, you go back, 03 they won it. Took, it, took them another four years to win another one in 07. Uh, so we're a little past due, but uh, you know we're hoping that we can you know, come out this year and bring it back to uh, Austin, Indiana.